the calliope has been tuned already. So I'm just going to go through the motions of how I went about tuning this. I drew up these different knobs and each one is designed to go inside these four different size pipes. This orange one is designed to go inside the 7 8 pipe and the tuning plug screws onto that. There's two o-rings. You put that inside the pipe and you move it up and down. I use this chromatic tuner and I move that up and down until that needle gets right into the middle. This was tuned a couple of days ago and the weather has changed a little bit and so the tuning of the pipes will change with your climatic conditions. Basically you tune the whole thing at the same time and it will be a little out of tune one way or the other as the temperature and humidity changes. And that was the same way with the uh, Senior 20 organs. If you come back later and you want to retune this pipe, you may find that that's difficult to move. It's not too bad on the two largest size pipes, but when you get down here on these smaller ones and this plug has been sitting in here for a couple of days or even a few hours, you'll find it almost impossible to move that. So you screw that down into the plug, move this down, then you hold this firm as you turn this, and it will start to pull that plug up. Once you get it loose, then you can move it. You can back this off and move it up and down by hand. And then when I'm all done, I just put the dust plugs in there. Trims off the pipes a little bit and keep stuff from falling inside the pipe ending up on top of that tuning plug. I did quite a bit of development work to get these air blocks to fit the inside of these pipes. As I've said before the inside diameter of these pipes can vary quite a bit and what you draw up is not necessarily what you get when the plastic has cooled on the 3D printer. A lot of times this plastic will shrink and it will shrink more where these hex sockets are than up here in the area where the infill is. You want to polish these much smoother and cleaner than what I showed in the previous video. It does make a difference and you want to move it across your sandpaper this way so that any scratch marks or anything are in line with the pipe. That also has an effect on the airflow. Now what I did find on the 7 8 pipe, there's five of these pipes and four of them, this block kept wanting to fall down. So I redesigned that and made the outside diameter a little bit bigger. And for the 1 inch and the 7 8 pipe, I increased the slot or the thickness of this slot that's across here from 1 8 to 5 30 seconds or 3 16 and tried that in the different pipes and that helped to bring these in tune. I have tuned this now about 10 times and each time it has gotten better because I kept playing around with different positions and settings and different blocks where I, I varied the thickness of the slot. The other part of this is you start off with that block being level with the aluminum pipe here you see how it sounds. If it's not quite right, you may try knocking it up to where this is a little bit above the pipe here, which will blow the air out this way a little more. Or you can drop it down. This one here I think you can see is a, just a tad high. That blows the air out this way a little bit. Your air has to catch this lip just right to set up resonance in this pipe or you may knock it down a little bit like in this one. That tends to blow the air into the pipe a little more. There's a dozen different ways to play around with these pipes to try and bring them in tune. And the lowest note is a bit shallow. It doesn't have the volume of some of the others, but the lowest three notes on the Senior 20 organ were exactly the same way. They weren't real strong in terms of volume, but you always hear them when the organ's playing. 
The STL files for these blocks will be on Thingiverse. You'll have the original four sizes for the four different pipe sizes. And there will be these that I have increased from an eighth to five thirty seconds or three sixteenths slot. And then there will be some for the seven eighths pipe where I slightly increase the diameter to tighten that plug where it will stay in place inside this pipe. I uh, increased the diameter by 0 .05 millimeter. You now have to drive that into the pipe. If you build one of these, the pipe that you get will be from a different batch, and the fit could very well be different. It's not that difficult to draw these up on Fusion 360, and it would be a good experience. Once you learn how to use Fusion 360, you'll find that you can draw more things to print on the 3D printer that will be very useful in this shop. A word of caution when handling these pipes, when you cut this mouth out of here, you've removed about one-third of the diameter of these pipes, and you have to hammer these airways into position. You want to hold the pipe down here, not up here when you're beating on that, and putting these down into the socket, you don't want to be bending back and forth on this. It would be quite easy to kink this pipe here. These are aluminum.